adopted budget, we needed to come up with a little over $153,000. So that was, you know, um, much more manageable for both the town and the Board of Ed. The board's portion of that was a, a little over 100000 and the town's portion was $52,000. Um, however, when the governor went and made an additional, um, his, the holdbacks that the, gov the governor um, Im Im um, implemented for the town were a little over $673,000. So with that addition, um, we now had um, a $981,000 deficit. So when we um, add the LOSIP in, add the renter's rebate, that gets up, us up over um, $1.1 million. But then we, when we subtract out the extra um, tax revenues, the $307,000, um, we needed to make up $826,000. So with that said, the board's portion is $545,000 and the town's portion just about 281000 As Mr. Nickerson um, um, indicated, on the town side, um, we have, um, you know, where, where we plan to um, take, take that freeze amount from. We've encumbered the funds um, so that the town, you know, so that the departments um, don't spend the funds. And then um, the Board of Ed um, has, you know, assured me that they have implemented their freeze. And Mr. New uh, Newton did mention that when he was up here earlier. So, uh, you know, we have, um, you know, taken measures to make up for the, um, the cutback in revenues from the state. And then on, you know, also attached is um, the list of um, encumbrances that we did. So um, a couple of you had asked to see where we're going to get this, this money from, where the cuts are coming from, and they're, they're laid out for you here. Um, are there any questions? Questions? Okay, great. Um, yeah, the only question I have is the biggest holdback is store materials and supplies. And let's hope for a mile winner. Yeah, the reason that we, um, you know, that um, Mr. Regard, um, you know, uh, agreed to that is because we can use the town aid road funds for snow removal. So the plan would be that we would use that resource and, you know, make up. Would, yeah, to make that up. Thank you. Put off projects for, you know, operations for the town aid roads. You, you often are building roads with that or, or whatever, but we'll use that money for storm if necessary um, absolutely other questions I'd just like to thank department heads for stepping forward and you know realizing this is a most difficult situation mm -hmm. and uh, you know doing this which looks like it's going to and they just a lot of credit to everyone does for trying to minimize the impact it's going to have on the people and the services being provided because you know we aren't seeing um, you know we, we've heard of other things in other towns being done we aren't talking here about having to you know close the, the, the transfer station an extra day or something like that we're still providing services it's painful but the priority seems to be on providing services to the community and I think everyone deserves credit for that we're doing everything we can and we're, we're, we're talking about a whole lot of consolidation of some positions as we lose people through, again, through attrition. Um, and some of that is reflected in some of these budgets here where we're losing a guy here and we're not going to rehire for the rest of the year or, or, or a few other spots as well. So we're, we're working toward just finding ways that we can job share and find efficiencies whenever possible. Um, and I think I would suspect that we'll just be doing that more and more and more and trying to strike a balance between, you know, rising taxes and, and, and lowering services uh, and expectations and trying to find a, a middle ground there so we don't lose the, the character and quality of our town services, uh, but all, we also don't drive everybody out of town with rising taxes. So a little, little bit of a... A balance act that we'll be performing over the next, I guess, is 10 years. So, any other questions? Otherwise, we'll move on. 
I think we can talk about future agenda items and future things that we should talk about as a board. Uh, that was a request. Thank you all for coming tonight. I don't know if you want to do the appointments first and then okay. uh, yes, come back to that. Sure. More okay. open-ended. Good point. Sure, I'll let you all do it and I'll just call the votes. Uh, I'd like to move to appoint Kevin Seary of 25 Quail Quest Road, East Lyme, to serve as the Deputy First Selectman with a term to expire on December 2nd, 2019. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Abstain. You can vote for yourself. Uh, okay. We'll make it unanimous. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Make that vote in unanimous. All Let's right. change this vote. Move to appoint Mark Salerno, 8 Bob White Lane, East Lyme, to serve as second deputy first selectman to serve when the first selectman and deputy first selectman are not available through December 2nd, 2019. Second. Motion and second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Thanks. Move to appoint Edward, attorney Edward O'Connell, 6 Lantern Lane, Niantic, as town attorney to serve through January 3rd of 2022. Second. I get two seconds. Um, uh, any comments? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Abstain. Move to appoint Eugene Cushman, 184 Upper Patagansett Road, East Lime, as town meeting moderator to serve through January 7, 2019, and to appoint Pierce Kinnear of 3 Winchester Road, East Lime, to serve as deputy meeting moderator. Deputy Town Meeting Moderator through January 7, 2019. Second. Motion and second. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Move to appoint Joseph Bergaw, 19 Adawan Road, Niantic, to serve as the SCARA representative for the Town of East Lyme through January 6, 2020. Second. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstain. Dan, you want to do the next five, and we'll each sure. do five, and oh. swing it. That, that's a nice yeah. way to do it. That's a nice way to do it. <clears throat> uh, move to appoint Kevin Seary, 25 Quail Crest Road, East Lyme, to serve as alternate SCARA representative for the town of East Lyme through January 6, 2020. Second. All, uh, any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? Good. I move to appoint... John Werthner of 4 Blueberry Lane, Niantic, and Barbara Smith, 2 Clark Lane, Niantic, to serve on the Commission of the Aging with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? I move to appoint John Cotillo III of 74 Fairhaven Road, Niantic, and Paul Baker Jr. of 8 Bishop Bay Drive, Niantic, to serve on the Building Code of Appeals with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay. Move to appoint Donald Danilia. Danilla. Danilla. Danilla, I'm sorry. Donald Danilla, 24 Patagansett Drive, East Lyme. Mark Christensen, 66 Grassy Hill Road, East Lyme, to serve on the Conservation of National Resources Commission with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Move to appoint Ronald Nichols, 32 Bush Hill Road, Niantic, to serve on the Conservation of National Resources Commission as an alternate member with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstain. Can I do the next one? No, I think sure. it moves on to, oh. It, uh, I'll just, you can do the next one if you want. But you oh, don't that. fight over it. Just do it. <laughs> I move to appoint William Monsuris of 88 <laughs> Smith Street, Niantic. Joseph Hitchery, 32 Bishop Bay Road, Niantic, to <laughs> serve on the East Lime Harbor Management Shellfish Commission with a term to expire on January 3, 2022. Second. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Move to appoint Rodney McCauley, 228 Roxbury Road, Niantic, Joan Bankston, 67 Walnut Hill Road, East Lyme, and Stephen Marks, 
Hamilton, 39 Sunnyside Drive, Niantic, to serve on the Historic Properties Commission with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Any comments? Second. Oops, okay. I got a second. I'm sorry. Any comments? My apologies. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Move to appoint Alfred Hobby, 33 Upper Patagansett, Niantic, Good Richard guy. Waterman, 11 Lake Avenue, Extension, Niantic, to serve on the Historic Properties Commission as, as an alternate member with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. I'll second. Are there any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Okay. Move to appoint John Chemowitz. Junior, 265 Roxbury Road, Niantic, William Dreyer, 12 Sunnyside Drive, Niantic, to serve on the Inland Wetlands Agency with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Move to appoint Mark Powers, 4 Brown Rock Road, Niantic, to serve on the Niantic River Gateway Commission with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Oh. Any uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? <coughs> Move to appoint John Jasper, 8 Old Oak Lane, Niantic. John Danilla, 24 Patagansett Drive, East Line, to serve on Niantic River Watershed Board with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstain? Move to appoint Ralph Bates, 5 Hudson Lane, Niantic, to serve on Niantic. The Niantic River Watershed Board as an alternate member with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any aye. opposed? Any abstain? Shall we continue? Or move to appoint Roger Nadu, 22 South Cobbles Court, Niantic, to serve on the Parks and Recreation Commission with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Move to appoint Anthony Buglioni, 55 Society Road, Niantic. Mark Powers, 4 Round Rock Road, Niantic. Thomas Gardner, 24 Sunrise Trail, East Lime. To serve, to serve on the police commission with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Any abstain? Move to appoint Margaret Prokop, 52 Lovers Lane, East Lime, Richard McDonald, 23 Hopkins Drive, Niantic, Gary Lakowski, 12 Methodist Street, Niantic, serve on the Smith-Harris Commission with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. I'll second. Terrific. Any comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Move to appoint Abraham Fisher, 18 Sunnyside Drive, Niantic, Jerry Fortier, 13 North Ledge, Light, Ledge Rock Road, Diantic, to serve on the Town Building Committee with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Move to appoint Paul Spakowski, 37 Mill Road, East Lime, Peter Harris, 5 South Ridge Road, Diantic, to serve on the Waterford East Lime Shellfish Commission with a term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Move to appoint Maury O'Connell, 81 East Patagansett Road, number 32, Niantic. Ken Roberts, 2 Rockwell Street, Niantic, to serve on the Youth Services Commission with the term to expire on January 3rd, 2022. Second. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Do we run out of names? We're done. Yes. Well, okay, then. Um, and thank you all these people for serving. Well, I was just going to say that. We talk a lot about that um, in our circles. So we talk about how this town works only because so many people work at it. And so many people step up. And that's a lot of names. And we're not done yet. We have some more appointments, many more appointments to, um, to make in, in our next meeting. And, of course, this only represents 
roughly half the appointment, half the people that volunteer in the town, because the other half are rolling over in a five-year or in a four-year term. So when you think of the number, the hun you know, hundreds of people that step up and serve in our town in sometimes little capacities, sometimes bigger ones, and they all make a difference in, in the quality of life here, and uh, they're all appreciated. So thank you. If your name was called tonight, much thanks to you. If you have served before, uh, or if you're not going to be serving in the future, but you are coming off of a board, we thank you for your service. Uh, Mr. Nickerson, would we like to invite these uh, people that have been nominated to come to the next Board of Selectmen meeting and be sworn in? Sure. Sure. Um, Anything. Yeah. Yes. Um, I don't know how we'll communicate that out to everyone. Um, we'll figure that out if that it's possible or not, or they're just told to come in to get sworn in by the clerk. But we could do a massive. Mm -hmm. I think like, that's what we did the last time. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was very nice that people got to meet each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, perhaps we could do that at seven. Oh, that's, we have seven. a town meeting at seven. Well, then we won't do it. Maybe at between seven. the town meeting and the regular meeting, because it will just be, you know, the, the swearing in part is sixty seconds long. Well, these people all have to be notified that they've been appointed. Correct. So when they're of notified, course. then they could be invited. Yeah. Mm. To come and get. Yeah, correct. And also, they can tell them if they can't make it that any time they go to the town they or do it at the clerk's office. Go to the town clerk's office and gets one. Yeah. Okay, let's let's move about on our agenda. I know we're busy moving the signatures down the line here, but we do want to talk about the future agenda items. I know that was asked uh, was asked to be put on the agenda this evening. Yes. So I just thought, as we are starting a new term, that perhaps there are some things that we would want to put on our agenda as future agenda items. Some things that we all might like to see considered and perhaps uh, add that as an item to our agenda, a standing item of uh, future business. Sure. If we wanted to do that. Um, I would have no problem with that at all. I think it, it belongs there. And then uh, I had a few things that I had thought of, which uh, <coughs> we could have for some future discussion, but just to think about whether these might be some things that we'd be interested in taking up. Mm -hmm. um, we've uh, seen numerous articles in the newspaper that the Old Lyme Police Department is interested in merging with ours, and I think it would be appropriate that we have some input on that uh, before it gets to a finalization stage. I know I've had several people in the community speak to me about that and what our position might be, and I said, we don't have a position yet. Uh, then there's a question, if I could interrupt just for a second, whether it's a decision that would be made at the selectman level or at the police commission level, since they are, it's their jurisdiction now. And you know, that w we are in the process of trying to figure that some of that stuff out. Exactly. Because, you know, uh, union negotiations, of course, are ours, but they should have an input, uh, being the police commission, and many, many other things like that. But, yeah, absolutely, we can have so that discussion. So I think that that's a topic that there's a large number of people in town yes. that are interested in. And uh, so I also had on there then the police commission to go along with that as we have some discussion about the role, expansion right. of the role of responsibility. And their roles and responsibility, right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> because that really wasn't something that we had anticipated at the time we set up the police commission. Right. Uh, in going over the appointments, to various boards and commissions. I thought that it might be time for us to do a review of the various boards and commissions. Uh, some of these commissions have not uh, met for some time, and is there a need to still have those commissions, whether they're set up by charter or by ordinance? Or by state statute. Yes. And um, so far, the one, the two that I checked on will remain as um, commissions. I think there was the building Town building, uh, not town building. Uh, was, um, building board building of assessment appeals. Board of assessment appeals. Yeah. And the water assessment. And that needs to be, that still needs to be uh, in force, according mm -hmm. to town attorney. And then the water assessment, should we ever expand our water system, we need that in place. Mm -hmm. So uh, it does not need to be filled if it's inactive, but we need to be ready to fill it with people. 
So we uh, might want to do, that's a possibility that oh. we might want to do some review of that. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that uh, it might be important for us to begin to tour some of the town facilities, such as uh, the uh, highway, highway sure. department, um, probably uh, take a look at uh, water and sewer. And um, the water and sewer budget is supposed to be presented to the Board of Selectmen. Uh, that has not happened in some time. So in my interpretation of presented, it doesn't mean you're handed a piece of paper. It means it's presentation. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to have us take a look at the uh, current police building. I think it's been some time since we've been in there. We'll uh, make that as part of the tour with your highway and water and sewer. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we might do that some afternoon at 3 o'clock if we could get enough board members. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think that we're all aware of a lot of the things that are going on at the state and the federal level. I don't know. I think that statements such as this board, a unified board, might make in weighing in on some of these issues, I think it would carry quite a bit of weight. And perhaps there are some things that we might want to consider taking a stand on. Okay. And then finally on my list, um, the noise ordinance that we enacted. <laughs> uh, at that time, we thought that we were going to be able to borrow a meter right. uh, from Waterford that they were going to be willing to share. They apparently are not. And I don't think any of us are in favor of passing ordinances that we can't enforce. So I think if we're going to have any ordinance in the future, and then we need to make certain that we have the ability to enforce those. <coughs> and excuse me, that leads me back to the noise enforcement ordinance. Are we going to do something with that? And if we're not, then let's take it off the books. So those are just some of the things that I had on my list. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so I wanted to have enough. I wanted to have enough to keep you in office for two years. Keep well. you busy here. <laughs> well. So uh, th that's my list. Is with some suggestions to kind of toss around at another meeting, and I'm sure that we can add other items. Other people have items they might like to offer. Anna, when you think of it, um, we want to put a, nor uh, a um, decibel reader. I have maybe a Chief Finkelstein look into what a decibel reader might cost the town. For the CIP. For the CIP. That's, I'm sorry, yes, for the CIP, and put it into next year's budget. Um, or now that we're partnered with Waterford's facility, we may want to look into whether they actually have one or not, because there was rumors that they didn't have a working one either. Uh, thank you for those items. We'll. Um, schedule them accordingly or have discussions and, and schedule them um, in time. Uh, anyone else have any just random thoughts? No, um, I'm good. So, so. As things come up, by all means, just give me a jingle. We can throw things on the agenda. We put a couple things on tonight, including this item, like future agenda items. Um, we put this on as late as last Friday before we mailed you the packet. So um, be happy to do that anytime. Give a jingle. We have a sign call. Sign call. Town of East Lyme, notice of special town meeting. Notice is hereby given of a special town meeting of the town of East Lyme to be held on Wednesday, December 20, 2017 at 7 p.m. at the East Lyme Town Hall Upper Meeting Room for the following purposes. One, to approve a special appropriation in the amount of $388,080.60 for the purpose of acquiring by way of lease or purchase various vehicles and equipment more particularly described in the town's fiscal year 2017-2018 equipment acquisition plan as evidenced by one or more agreements for the acquisition of said vehicles by lease or purchase or combination thereof for a total price of $369,400 plus interest at a rate of 1.98% per annum payable in annual installments of $77,616.12 
$6,468.01 per month over a period of five years. Two, to approve a special appropriation to the Board of Education in the amount of $504,058.80 for the purpose of acquiring by way of lease or purchase or combination thereof various new computer and smart board equipment for the high school, middle school, Niantic Center School, Lily B. Haynes, Flanders School, and the central office more particularly described in the East Lime Public Schools proposed year one computer replacement plan 2017-18 and for partial funding in the East Lime High School pool dehumidification system for the total amount of $480,735 plus interest at the rate of 1.9 per 98% per annum, payable in annual installments of $100,811.76 or 800, $8,400.98 per month over a period of five years. Three, to approve a special appropriation and transfer in the amount of $35,000 from CNRE Fund 32, account 32-70-300-500-100 town project allocations and establish an account titled Cheney Park Restrooms for partial funding for the purchase of a portable restroom trailer for Cheney Park. This purchase is consistent with the capital improvement plan. Four, to transact any other business proper to come before the town meeting dated in East Lyme, Connecticut, the 6th day of December, 2017. Second. Thank you. Comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Uh, I think we go on to uh, delegations. No, ex officio. Yeah, ex officio. Ex officio reports. Who would like to start? <coughs> I'm all set. I have uh, zoning commission meets tomorrow night, and uh, I don't have any other reports. And they have not much of an agenda other than they are appointing their chairman and secretary and all that. Great. Um, Dan? Well, let's see. Last night I attended the Historic Properties Commission. Great. And uh, Barbara Johnson Lowe, who was the acting chair, she was voted in as the permanent chair. Great. So that's good. She's done a great job uh, over there. Um, the uh, month ago we had the, uh, or a month and a half ago, we had the bike and barbecue event. And as it turned out, each of the uh, Three houses, the Samuel Smith House, Thomas Lee House, and Smith Harris, each received uh, $500 uh, that came out of that fundraiser. So the year before, they, they didn't make any money, but this year they, they had $500 for each one of the uh, those houses, and uh, I think they have another $2,000 to holding back and see money for next year's event, which hopefully Great. will be even better. Um, on the, uh, there is the uh, Preservationist Potluck Dinner, which is coming up on 1-12-18. So it's something uh, folks may want to attend. And uh, that's about it for me. One twelve. that's a Tuesday One, night? Uh, whatever the 12th is. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. Great, thank you. Okay. Mr. Dago? Um, nothing for inland wetlands, but uh, Harbor Management and Shelfish Commission uh, had a meeting, had some general discussion about the uh, commercial uh, um, shellfishing for farming in the Niantic River. And tomorrow evening, uh, there will be a joint uh, meeting between Wellsco, uh, East Lime, and Waterford Harbor Management, and uh, both first selectmen from the towns to discuss the uh, invited at least <laughs> <laughs> to discuss the uh, question of you know who has the regulatory authority to, to review and approve things there's quite a bit of public up, up uh, concern about the, the Army Corps and Wells Co acting independent of the towns uh, the particular project that was in front of the Wells Co and the Army Corps was in the waters of the town of Waterford 